Viper laughed heartily at the frozen Vika, relishing this moment of cold revenge. Chuchundra burst into Captain Vrungel's cabin and began to growl at him. Who the hell are you? The captain didn't lose his cool and fired his gun. The bullet hit the iron mask, knocking Chuchundra down. Suddenly, Viper flew in through the window, incapacitating the captain. Chuchundra lifted him by the collar for a conversation with the boss. This ship is mine! Turn it around now! Ladies, this old barge has no brakes! The captain explained to the hijackers that they usually use an anchor to stop the ship, but he wouldn't do it. This response sent Viper into a rage. You f nuts! Anna pulled out the rescue beacon and activated the distress signal. The radio distress signals were transmitted from the beacon to a space satellite, and from there they bounced back to Zusa's house. The computer whiz realized the emergency and immediately abandoned his tasks, rushing to his keyboard. In a matter of seconds, he determined the sister's location and dispatched his evacuation drone. The captain couldn't withstand Viper's relentless attacks. All right, I'll drop the anchor. He rushed to the helm and pressed the stop button. The anchor plunged into the water. Viper and Chuchundra were very pleased with the successful capture of the ship. While they were celebrating, Zusa's drone lifted the sisters from the deck right before their eyes. What the f <laughs> Viper ran up to the shattered window and shouted at her eyes dragon in anger. Freezy! Don't let them escape! The magical monster breathed its icy breath on the sisters, but Zusa skillfully maneuvered the drone to evade it. The freezing energy of the monster didn't reach its target. The sisters' evacuation was successful, much to Viper's charging. We'll meet again, bits. Already in Zusa's house, Anna recounted what had happened, how Viper's dragon had turned Vika into a frozen icicle. They needed to defrost her quickly. Zuza decided to take action. He decided to use a regular gas torch, but the ice was stubborn. The heat from the torch was not enough. The guys tried to dispel Vika in a super hot Russian sauna. They even cranked up the heat to 100 degrees Celsius and whisked her with birch brooms. But this ice didn't even start to melt and the scorching heat knocked Anna out. Unfazed, they even deep-frozen Vika into a volcano's core. In all other instances, that would work, but here, the stubborn ice remained unyielding. Oh, what the hell! It was an epic fail. After diving deep into the web for answers, Zuse realized that the laws of physics were powerless here and they were dealing with some supernatural magic. His search queries on the topic led him to a clairvoyant witch named Vanga. That's what I need! Somewhere far in the ocean waters, Viper's ship and her monster were simply outrageous, ramming small fishing boats at full speed, just for fun. <laughs> The fame of her and her gigantic monster were spreading rapidly. In no time, another group of maritime daredevils decided to join Viper. These were the Somali pirates. A daily queue formed for appointments with the famous blind clairvoyant Vanga. Our heroes didn't want to waste their time waiting in a long line, so they decided to use a clever trick to get to her. I'll just ask one thing. But as soon as they enter, they somehow found themselves at the very back of the line again. The kids were completely baffled. Zuzu was deeply frustrated. He stormed towards the hut's entrance again and once more ended up at the very end of the queue. Finally, they realized that the enchanted queue to Vanga could only be honestly waited in. Meanwhile, 
Viper and her Somali pirates were in the midst of hijacking an AliExpress cargo tanker. The tanker's crew had evacuated in sheer terror on a lifeboat, but the dragon's icy breath prevented their escape. Using a special catapult, the pirates landed on the deck of the captured tanker. They were seemingly thrilled with their substantial catch. Finally, Anna and Zuzia got their turn to see Vanga. But before they could utter a word, she began to speak on her own. Intangible warmth will set Vika free. But first, you'll need to defeat the monster with the help of sacred fire. The kids were shocked by how much Vanga knew and they realized that they needed to think deeply about her riddles. Meanwhile, Viper was riding her icy dragon. She continued hijacking AliExpress tankers with her Somali pirates. All of the stolen goods were sold by the bandits at half the real price. Huge crowds of Robloxers came here looking for bargains to buy new iPhones and PlayStations. It was a highly profitable business for the maritime pirates. Zuzia and Anna attempted to decipher the mysterious words of Vanga. It was clear to them that the monster referred to Viper's icy dragon, but they couldn't figure out what sacred fire meant. After some online research, Zuzia found information about an ancient Roblox tradition. Back in those times, primitive Robloxers used olive oil to ignite a fire during a ritual, considering this fire sacred. Armed with this knowledge, Zuzia came up with an idea. Without wasting any time, he began explaining the next steps of their plan to Anna. The olive oil factory was conveniently located right near the port. And a special pipe transported the precious liquid onto the ship in a dedicated tank for transportation. The goal for the kids was to capture this ship. Using her signature hypnotic skills, Anna got rid of the unnecessary crew. Zuza, in his turn, put his robot in charge of the ship's control and attached a powerful, remote-controlled, explosive device to the olive oil tank. As a final touch, they disguised the tank with an AliExpress poster. After the ship set sail, Zuza kept a close eye on its movements through the robot captain's eyes. Viper's pirate fleet roamed the seas in the search of new plunder. Another ship appeared on the horizon. Peering through her binoculars, Viper spotted the coveted label Ali Express. Straight ahead! Prepare to board! The pirates began executing the plan. Crazy! Attack! The fearless monster swam ahead, while Zuza monitored what was happening through the visual sensors of the robot captain. They're closing in! Somali pirates were preparing for the takeover. Freezy was unrelenting. Viper was eagerly anticipating it. <laughs> when the attackers approached their target, Zuza activated the bomb. A powerful explosion resounded. The destructive shockwave blew away Viper's ship like a splinter. Screaming loudly, the dragon writhed in pain. The sacred fire of olive oil melted it like ice cream. Yay! So the witch was right! Two silhouettes appeared on the surface of the sea. Viper and Chichundra had lost everything, but they still had the magical crystal. F*** me! I'll f*** whole Roblox up! After defeating Viper's monster, the friends gathered at Zuzia's house, getting ready to defrost Vika. Despite all of Anna's efforts, her sister remained frozen solid. Oh jeez, what is this intangible warmth? Seems like the witch tricked us. Someone rang the doorbell. Yay, it's the pizza! 
Good morning, here's your order. When the pizza delivery guy Nordy looked at the Vika, he froze in amazement. It was love at first sight. He ran closer to her. She is so beautiful. But what happened to her? That's all because of the ice curse. Poor girl. Suddenly a miracle happened. The magical ice began to melt from Nordy's hug. The intangible warmth turned out to be his genuine love. The ice melted. Vika saw some kind of a weirdo right in front of her. Angered to the bone, she pushed him away. But Nordy was determined. He kept on trying to win the heart of his beloved. I love you! Get the f*** out! Our hopeless romantic rushed out onto the street. But Nordy was happy. Now he had a purpose in his life. Finally, nothing stood in the way of the sisters' embrace. Friendship and love proved stronger than black magic.